What's good, people? Uncle Hotel back at it again. How y'all doing? Basketball American news. You know it's the playoffs. I'm going to do these. I'm going to do these. I'm going to do... You're going to get a game recap of, the, of, the, of uh, the playoffs. You best believe that. Sixers won 130-103. Um, of course, I watched the game. Um, crowd was hyped. I don't know what's up with that sixer design, man. What's what the snake going through the Liberty Bell? What kind of what the, what does that even mean? <laughs> it's the weirdest shit I've ever, ever fucking seen, man. Um, it blew him out. <laughs> it was tight. Listen, it was tight. Um, I was worried about Dragic. But they put Covington on him. Covington was in that motherfucker's ass. He was in his ass, man. Listen, all the Covington slander. You know I've slandered Covington quite a bit. He has moments defensively where he looks great. You know, um, I still contend his basketball IQ is low, something lo <laughs> lower, a little lower than desired. But defensively, sometimes he can get after. If he's locked in, he was locked in. Um, you know, uh, only Ale Ale Kelly Olenek was holding them down the first half. You know, he ended up the game with 26 points, keeping it close. You know, Wade came in, did a couple things. What Wade, ha Wade have? Wade had uh, 17, 11. Well, I think the majority of that was in the first half. You know, he had a couple... He had like he hit he hit holes with the you know here, here come <laughs> man, I wouldn't jump for nothing to Dwayne Wade pump fake man I'm not I'm not falling for that man y'all keep falling for that bullshit but you know it was close um did the Sixers end up having the hand, lead at the half or they was down two anyway there was I think there was down like two they just put it in an S third quarter it was this, it was it was sodomy time. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. Um, um, Simmons played great. You know, size was five turnovers. Um, you know, I think during this streak, he's had uh, more. Um, he's dominating the ball a little bit more. You know what I mean? He's been more. Um, almost Ron not Rondo. Yeah, Rondo-ish in uh, delivering the ball. He had 14 assists last night. Um, you, they surrounded him with shooters. That's why I think they can continue to do good uh, as long as they get a little play good defense. But their offenses can click just like anything. Um, uh, Sarich, 20, 20 points, 4 of 6. They just shot lights out. Now, they're not going to shoot this good during the series. But... Um, I do think this is the second time. Now I went to the game. I went during the season was the uh, I think Ben Simmons had a triple double, and this was Bellinelli's like first or second game, man, fourth game, and he just was he lit it up. He lit the heat up, and they, they he lit him up again. They might not have anybody to cover him, um, especially since he comes off the bench. Um, they don't have a bench guy to uh, defensively. To, to, to hug him hug the block like that <laughs> um, you know Richardson and uh, they got Richardson Johnson they're gonna have to do switch some things up because um, you know Winslow he's kind of bulky he's more better against Simmons but I don't think he's not good enough to uh, run with Redick and, and Bellinelli through them screens um, also give credit to Brett he started the game with a mirror, but the second half he started with Ella Silva. You know, he said he wanted to have a, a little better matchup, and he wanted him uh, with mismatch with Whiteside, and he wanted to have a mirror on Linux. You know, a mirror, he's probably quick enough to guard a Linux on the perimeter. Yeah, um, so he wanted to do that. He's a little better defender. See that I never I I, I gotta give Brett cre credit that worked. I thought it, I was like man he's panicking real quick when I heard he was made this the this, this, this change. 
I was like, man, he, he, he uh, let's see what happens. And, you know, Ilyasova <laughs> did his damn thing. I don't know. I never, now as far as Ilyasova, I don't know why he, they let him go. I'm like, he, it seems that when he plays with the Sixers, man, he plays great, man. Um, he started out a little shaky, but um, I think he had some turnovers, but he had 17 points, 14 in rebounds. He's he's tall. He's long. You know what I mean? So he's a little bit, I think his, his height, I don't know if he's 6'11", 6'10", 6'9", but his arms are long. He can play, you know, he can give you some spot minutes at center. You know, um, Fultz came in and he, like, he held, he didn't blow it. You know what I mean? That's what he all he had to do. He actually had two rebounds, four assists, and that little bit of time in 14 minutes. You know, um, his, his jumper <coughs> jumper looked kind of shaky, but he did have one uh, spin spin dribble move. He he sh he shook the shit out of Winslow, um, but that's all that's all he needed to do in the, like special couple minutes. There was a, I think uh, Simmons had four fouls at the start of the end of the, towards the end of the third and there was three minutes left that's when he brought in Fultz he wanted to get five fouls um and Fultz held it down we held the lead that was great that was important you know if if there's any question that he was going to take TJ's minutes then that yeah you know, I mean that's the reason this is the reason right there um now TJ did get some minutes he had seven minutes but <coughs> that's what he that's where he's at it's the spot minutes he's not I always said that he's not the process was a love with T.J. McConnell. That he's a spot minute guy. He's not a, a, a full time backup point guard guy. I'm sorry, you know he just can't he just can't score enough. You know what I mean? It, it be or be the threat to score. You know if his jumper was like money, not outside of the corners. You know he's been kind of, he's become a better shooter in the corners. He's even become a better offensive player. <clears throat> but it's in certain guards, he's not going to be able to get open. And Markel is he's. Because he doesn't have this. I mean, because TJ doesn't have the athleticism. But Markel has the moves and athleticism and the body to get those shots off. Let's not, let's be clear. It's the, just the height difference is what is another thing that works against TJ sometimes. Um, I say Covington. Yeah, Reddick, you know, <laughs> hey, this guy's playing out of his mind. <laughs> let's just be clear. Uh, 28 points. You know, I don't know how far you can go with TJ as your leading scorer. Now, he's become a better scorer. Like, he's still a secondary scorer because Embiid is there. We, have, we keep forgetting Embiid is not playing. Um, but um, if he gets enough clear shots and they do that, he will get that because they play in, like, a, a good move-the-ball offense. Then he, I guess you can see what he can do. Let's I'm, I'm just, and, and he's playing with Ben. Let's not get around it. 14 assists. He gets guys open. You know what I mean? If Ben is top three point guards, and he's not three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In my opinion, um, if I was picking a point guard today to start your starting five, I'm picking Ben Simmons. I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. There's no slight on anybody. There's no slight on Westbrook, Chris Paul, Steph Curry. You know, um, I'm picking Ben Simmons. You know, how he's, he's top, well, let's look, I'm, that's me being ridiculous, but he's top five. You, the Sixers have two top five players on the team. And we're talking about, can they make the finals? Of course they can. They should make the finals. Um, you know, <coughs> what I think, um, I thought this, I thought Miami would play them a little tougher than they did the first half, but they just like my, my man Dorsey said, they don't. Miami doesn't have enough scoring to, to keep up with the Sixers, and you see, you saw that because sometimes you're just gonna sh you're gonna shoot, they're gonna get through your defense, you're gonna have a go on a run, and you know the Sixers are capable of going on runs in, in since like the last part of part of the year, like third quarter they've been putting they 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 <laughs> they they, 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 <laughs> they be sodomizing them, and that's what happened. So. Kudos to Brett Brown. Kudos to you know the whole squad. You know, um, it looks like this is going to be the rotation. It's going to be McConnell, Fultz. They're going to go nine deep, and I guess, um, but Embiid's coming back, <coughs> so I don't know. It's Brett's going to have to work some magic to finesse Embiid back in there. 
I think he's he should lighten Embiid's minutes to like twenty five. I'm the first game, you know, um, because yeah, you know he's going to get Amir's minutes. Them, get them, to give him them twenty two Amir minutes and like a couple off Illasova because Illasova plays some center. Um, 26, 28 minutes for that's what I would try to ease and beat into. I hope he doesn't just throw him out there, put him out there for thirty. They don't need him like that. Um, you know, against a certain teams, they they will need him. Let's let's be clear. I'm not wanting to jump on the, their better team without him beat. I'm just saying this should show you how good Simmons is. You know what I mean? As a facilitator, as a point guard, if you put the right people around him, he he looks elite. He's damn near averaging a triple double. He has to be for the last month. I don't know what. It, let me look at his goddamn stats, man. I know this is a long video, but this is the goddamn playoffs. <laughs> let me go through his game log. Fifteen nine and nine. That was the last. Was that through this month? That's probably just this last five games. That's the last five games. Let me go through the game log. And that's important. Them rebounds and assists is important, man. Like, you don't need... if See, if he's just getting 15, that's a good, like, third score type numbers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Our April 16, 9, and 9. Um, what is it, March? 12, 10, and 9. You know, he's up to scoring a little bit. You know, um, the month before that, he had 16, 17. But he's getting that that 10, 9 assists, man. Is 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 this? That shit is just rude, man. First year, 15, 8, and 8. This, nigga, this guy. He's going to be the reason. He's, he's, he's the one. But anyway, um, I'll be back next game, man. Um, I, originally, I had Sixers and six. But this might be five. <laughs> it might be four. It might be a... I'm not going to say sweet. Um, but, you know, if they come back... And if B comes back the next set game two. And they blow these cats out, man. Again, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? He might not even play. Maybe like, man, sit down. Man, we don't need you. Just, just, just wait till the next series, man. But, um, whew. anyway, it's exciting times, man. Phil, Phil C Sixers fans, this is, we haven't had this since 01, man. <laughs> the Iverson era, man. You know, I've been a Sixers fan a long time. This is Doc, man. This is Barkley era. You know, I really started watching, like, one of the Barkley era. You know, um, I was, like, a kid when uh, Doc won. I remember watching that game, but I've uh, been a Sixer fan a long time. Anyway, this is Uncle Hotel. I'll talk to you later. Peace.